Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the second of our festive craft enrichment sessions. I hope you enjoyed making your fireworks last week. I loved seeing them all. Don't forget to upload your pictures this week. Um, this week we'll be making some poppies. Obviously on Wednesday, tomorrow, it's Remembrance Day. Um, we haven't been able to sell poppies in school this week, which is a bit sad, but um, I'm going to show you how to make some poppies tonight. Um, and you'll be able to put them in a vase or a milk bottle like mine or give them to your loved ones. Okay, so as I showed you just now, we're going to be making these amazing poppies. Um, you've all brought home an envelope. Inside your envelope, there's enough resources to make two poppies. So I'm going to pull them out and show you what you've got. Okay, so we've got two pipe cleaners. Yours may differ in colour, um, but hopefully they're the right colour. So I'm going to keep one of them so I put one of them to the side and you've got a whole load of tissue paper. Now I'm going to just split my tissue paper in half. Don't count them or anything, it doesn't need to be exact. Um, so I've got half my tissue paper and I'm saving the other half for my second poppy. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is fold, zigzag fold our tissue paper over. So I'm going to do one fold towards me, then I'm going to flip over my tissue and then one fold away from me, a bit like I'm making a fan. I'm going to do that all the way to the end, concertina it, zigzag fold till I've folded up the whole of the tissue paper. Here we go, like that, okay? So you can see on the end, I've got zigzags and I've got that on both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner in the middle and I'm gonna fold it, not once round, but twice round to secure the middle of my poppy. Okay, so I've gone twice on the middle and then I'm going to twist this bit so it can't move. Right, twist, 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 all the way down. Keep twisting. I don't want any ends loose. All the way down. Okay, so this strange looking thing is going to turn into my poppy. Okay, it doesn't look very poppy like at the moment, does it? But it will, don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to unfold both sides and then one layer at a time, I'm going to grab one layer of tissue paper. Be careful, you don't want it to rip. I'm just going to fold, pull it to the middle, okay? I'm going to take it the next layer of tissue paper. Can you see that? It's quite fiddly to get the layer at a time and pull that to the middle. Then I'm going to take the next layer of tissue paper. And then the next layer. And I'm going to keep going until I've got all the layers of tissue paper pulled up to the middle. Can you see how it's taking shape as a flower? I'm going to keep going. Next layer pulled up. Next layer pulled up. And then the last layer. So now I've got half of my poppy done. You can see how this has turned into a really nice poppy. Now when I'm finished, I'm going to remind you what my finished ob object looks like. So now I need to keep going with the other side of my poppy. So Again, pull the first layer up, just one layer at a time. Otherwise your poppy won't look as nice. It won't have all those fluffy um, leaves, petals, I guess they, I mean. That's one. And the next one. A bit tricky, that one, to find. I've got two there. I'm just going to separate them. If you need to, you can lick your finger to separate them. Make sure you've washed your hands if you're licking your fingers. If you're at home, so you should be nice and safe. Next layer. Keeping going, got, not got many left. I think I've got three more layers left on my poppy. One at a time. Make sure you take your time, it'll be worth it. One more, and then finally, my last layer. Now, it's quite nice with our poppies. You can just see the middle bit. We know with poppies that you've got a black centre, haven't you? So you can just see that with yours. And there is our beautiful poppy. So give, give it a little bit of fluff fluffing around the petals so you can make it look like a lovely poppy and then I'm going to add mine to my collection. It's got two poppies in my vase. 
So I hope you've loved your making your poppies. Hopefully you've got two finished poppies like mine. Now you can either give these to somebody or you can have them around your house. Um, you can think about them tomorrow for remembrance. Um, I would love to see your poppies when you're done. So remember, upload pictures of your poppies. I'd love to share them out. Put them on our Google Classroom stream and I will see you next week for some more festive crafts. Bye guys.